Greetings Earthlings, today we're going to find out if a $28 dynamic microphone sucks. So today we're looking at this guy, the Five Fine Dynamic Vocal Microphone, or the K8. If you do want to pick this guy up, it will set you back around $28 on Amazon. Like always, I'll throw some links down below. And for this review, I connected the mic with an XLR to XLR cable directly to the Focusrite 2i2 2nd Gen with the input gain set at around 230. Not going to do any post-processing, but I will likely boost it in post, so check the doobly-doo to see what I did. Now let's talk about what comes in the box. You do obviously get the microphone, you get a very thin windscreen, you get a 19 foot XLR to quarter inch cable, you get some documentation, and I do want to point out that this thing does not come with a microphone clip, so if you plan on mounting it to a stand, make sure you have one available. Now as far as the build quality, this thing feels surprisingly good given the price tag. It has an all metal body with a powder coating to make it easier to grip. It also has a pretty nice feeling metal mesh grill and a decent amount of weight to it and near the bottom it does have an on off switch so you can mute the microphone now as far as the specs this thing has a cardioid polar pattern a frequency response of 50 hertz to 14 kilohertz a sensitivity of around negative 52 decibels and an output impedance of 600 ohms okay so now i'm speaking into the front of the k8 moving around to 90 degrees and it has an insane amount of off-axis rejection we go around to 180 or the rear and you can hear it's pretty drastic there 90 degrees again and then we'll go ahead and end at the front now i'm typing on a keyboard with cherry mx blues to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up okay i'm right on top of the microphone to show you the proximity effect of this thing about three inches away from the microphone one foot away from the microphone two feet from the microphone and about four feet away from the microphone now let's go ahead and test the plosives please bring pizza pronto please bring pizza pronto this is how the microphone sounds without the provided windscreen. And now throwing on the provided windscreen, and this is how the microphone sounds. <laughs> I think it's time to do a shameful self-plug. You guys should follow me on Twitter. I hate myself so much right now. Oh, God. Well, for 28 bucks, this microphone definitely doesn't suck. In terms of pros, the off-axis rejection of this microphone is absolutely bonkers. It may be some of the best off-axis rejection I've ever heard. You also get an on-off switch, which acts as a very convenient microphone mute button. It also has a surprisingly good-feeling build quality, and the microphone is just dirt cheap. But then, in terms of cons, this microphone just doesn't handle plosives very well, so you definitely need to throw a pop filter in with this microphone. Now, as far as my overall thoughts of this microphone, on the electric guitar, there was quite a bit of crunchiness in the upper frequencies due to the big boost, but it also didn't get boomy or muddy in the low end at all, which is a good thing. Then on the acoustic guitar, I thought this microphone just sounded gross because there was far too much high end and it made it a bit piercing to listen to. Then for singing, I guess it's fine, but it does have a rather nasally tone. It's very heady sounding. And then lastly, for spoken word, the plosives really get in the way of what you're trying to communicate, and it is also a very sibilant sounding microphone. And then finally, would I recommend this microphone? Well, for $28, I really can't fault it for too much. So if you're looking for a microphone for a karaoke bar or any place where you're concerned with feedback, or you are in a situation or an environment with a lot of background noise, I think this has some of the best background noise rejection that I've ever heard. So I think it would be a great microphone for any of those situations. But on the other hand, if you are looking for a microphone for any professional application, I would direct you somewhere else. But again, if you are a beginner running this thing into an interface with a pop filter and a microphone stand, I think it's a perfectly fine option to get you up and running in a noisy environment. 
Okay, well, that's where we're going to wrap up today. I should give you my Twitter handle since I did such a shameful plug. It is at Bandrew Says. Go ahead and follow me over there. I post random stuff from time to time. If you found this video fun, interesting, or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, hated it, thumbs down, want more videos, logo beneath me, and click that bell icon below the video. You can check out the Discord server. I'll throw a link in the description, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.